Good morning, YouTube, Western Virginia. It's June 23rd, 2021. Gorgeous day. 72 degrees with a 15 mile an hour northeast wind. No humidity, no bugs right now. This is perfect. You don't get this in the summertime, so I'm taking advantage of it. I'm going to go metal detecting. So I took off work a little early today, and uh, hopefully, we'll bring you something. New site. I need to get on the other side of this tidal creek. I was told to go this way and there's no way across. I thought maybe there might have been a bridge or something or a footbridge. I can't get across the tidal creek. I need to be over there. I'm going to tell you that right now. The house site, everything I've researched is over there. War of 1812, Rev War, Civil War, Colonial, Post-Colonial, Post-Civil War, everything I can think of that sounds good for metal detecting is going to be on the other side of this tidal creek. But while I'm here, this is a probably a 20 acre field grass on the maps it was cultivated at one time i can see old satellite maps so this was a farm field but it looks like they may have took uh the topsoil out of here just the way there's a lot of pits and ruts and stuff so we'll see what i got in my hand here the Nocta Marco Simplex. I hope I'm saying that first one right. Nocta. Built like a tank. This thing is this thing is built good. I can I, I can already tell. I've messed with it in my yard, but I haven't gone out metal detecting with it yet. For the price, you can't beat it. I do have the Deus in the car, so if things go not to plan with this, I'm gonna switch out. I'm going to get on the other side of this creek. I'm gotta hike in probably two miles, unfortunately. So I'm going to take the dais over there. I'm not even going to take a chance of uh, getting over there and getting upset or something. So anyway, thing is built like a tank. Telescopic lens so you can retract and extend it, which is good for putting it in your backpack or if you're on a long walk, you can carry it with your shovel and everything else. So I like that feature for $315. You can't beat it. I mean, this thing is built well. Um, it's light. Not as light as the Deus, but lighter than the Cruiser or the Amphibio if you use those machines. Much, much lighter. This is kind of top heavy to me, so it, you know, it, you can definitely fill this. Um, so it is a little, little top heavy, but man, for the price, this thing is built. This thing is built well. Uh, so I'm looking forward to going out here and finding something. They got a quick guide. I laminated it. I put it in my pocket. I don't know everything guys um, so I get out here I get stuck and I want to tweak it I got the cheat sheet right here simple lamination put it in your pocket you go so uh, you know that's what it is so uh, you know I don't, I don't know everything about every machine and you, you look at YouTube and you see different how-to videos and this and that but that's somebody's interpretation so anyway I'm gonna go out here and give it a shot We'll see what we can get here. I probably won't stay here long. I just don't see any features here that are calling me out to say, swing here, right here. There's just, there's just really no terrain feature that is like holding me here. So um, we'll spend about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on what we find. And then we'll head on over to the other side. Thank you. All right, it's first target with the simplex. A little bit off on the pinpointing. I was just on the edge of, uh, the target and eh, it was a decent signal 72 on field uh, I can already say this um, field mode there's only like one tone really it's I, I did a little test walking out here with a couple coins and it didn't matter if it was a 90 or a 50 it, it gave off the same tone so it's not going to stop you like the Deus gives you a high squeak or other machines like the Equinox give you a higher pitch tone um, I think you can switch into park or all metal or something. Maybe it'll give you a multi-tone so far, but eh, I don't like the single tone frequencies. Um, that That's no good. Um, sometimes you just want a sound to stop you. You know what I mean? You can get excited about it. I'm not a big reader of the... Uh, The, the VID, VDI numbers. Uh, so it looks like um, a modern bullet, perhaps. All right, it's locked. All right, um, got a 90. 
like I said, uh, it, it, mm, not a showstopper signal like a like like a 90 on a day or whatever. I'm just I'm not trying to be picking this thing apart, but it just didn't. It's not like a confidence in this tone to me, like a showstopper. <clears throat> Even though it's a 90, it, it should be good, but it could be a can. And if it is, there was no like the. the with other machines like the Equinox in the Deus that I use and I use very well, and I can speak for both those machines, I get that hollow um, echoey chop to the end of it. So I can sort of kind of tell before I even look at the number, I can pretty much guess what it is. And, but, but I'm also hunting sites that, you know, colonial through the Civil War, uh, try to minimize the uh, modern contamination as much as possible so I don't hunt like parks and and junk sites and schoolyards and stuff like that where there's a lot of contamination mixed in with the whatever you're looking for coins and stuff so I've learned through my ears to tell the difference in the signals and I can pretty much call it before I even dig it so this I, I can't it, it just it just gave us a little higher tone it came up a 90 and the tones just just very uh, it is what it is I mean it sounded just like the quarter and it could be a quarter I, I don't know but I mean, right here we are. I mean, it's good depth. I mean, it, it sounded off really nice. Um, but it could be something large like a can, which this is not. <laughs> well, look at that. Uh, a rain guide already. I'm not expecting this. So this field tells me now we are now dealing with early you know, 1830, 40 through the Civil War. Um, so we're on a we're on an old site, which I knew on the other side of this title ditch over here. I knew that side over there was old, which we'll get over there in a little while. But uh, came up a 90. It was six inches. Sounded great. Um, just sounded like a 90. You know, it, it didn't sound uh, it didn't sound off. Like oh, stop me in my tracks. It was just that. Deep, 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 deep. So, um, but anyway, I'm very pleased with this. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the old stuff. So uh, this is not colonial, but still uh, definitely a 19th century artifact here. And that's what we're looking for. Thanks a lot. Well, I got back here and you can see how beautiful it is. There's the marsh and the creek and it's very pretty back here but there's a lot of trash a ton of trash i just dug down here and there's a lot of rock and shell and stuff all in these holes uh, i just dug a tent grommet i can't swear that it's military or old uh, it was deep and this is pretty compacted soil with a lot of shell layer so i mean a good almost eight inches down so it was deep the soil is not kind to anything I have found so far and I have not found a lot um, some roach pennies a couple of fishing weight stuff like that which is expected around the water um, I did find a busted pocket watch right here busted up pocket watch that was pretty deep too it was about eight eight and a half inches um just don't know about the tent grommet there was military activity out here i just can't swear that it was civil war or 1812 uh, certainly weren't revolutionary war but um who knows all right uh we're back in the field i started in i feel like we're talking more than we're digging today but uh put the simplex up uh hunting with the deuce um, I will say that I'd like the Simplex. It felt better than the Equinox as far as swinging. Um, it was just a very good balanced machine. It's a lot of plus. The only thing I don't like is the pinpoint mode. Um, I got to get used to that because you got to hold on to the button and it just didn't lock in on pinpoint. But other than that, it was a pleasure to swing. I'll be honest with you. I swung with it for probably about an hour and uh, it was really nice. But um, anyway, getting down to business, I just dug uh, another net weight. Um, literally right here um, I thought it was a round ball at first and then I started cleaning it and before I started filming it, I realized it was a net weight but in this hole same came out right here uh, about 8 to 10 inches um, is a button 
So I think I may be onto something here in this field. Nice thick button, early 1800s, 1830, 40. Uh, so early to mid. But uh, so we may be onto something here. I should have probably stayed here after finding that bridal guide. Um, because I went across and started hunting. There's a creek back here, so I went back in there. And uh, the ground is so hard, and there's a lot of modern contamination. I guess it floods, it floods a lot during the storms, which is common around here. And I think just a lot of modern debris has washed up and uh, really contaminated the ground, and the ground was super hard, and there was cattle, and they were working, so I kind of pulled out. Um, but we did find some stuff, pocket watch, um, tent grommet, Found some modern clad back there, but um, I decided to come back here. I just had a hunch about this field. So, button one. Thanks a lot. All right. Uh, so, this side of the field is field dirt. <laughs> just kind of wondering what the mound was over here. So, they came in tore out, dumped all their construction debris on that side of the field. This side, the soil is the, you can see it's it's the natural soil. There was no rocks and I just got into a lot of rock and, and stuff and then I was pulling out, you know, obviously eh, tools like this and a lot of uh, aluminum foil, a lot of just junk paper, trash, random stuff. So came back on this side and uh, dug another net weight. I didn't film it. Did, did do that but here this little booger here uh, I don't know what it is I think it's a button was deep we're down um, you know uh, almost to the top of the pinpointer it, it beeped one direction didn't do anything so I decided to dig it and uh, came up a little bit better but still not great I chased it and a yeah, little cuff button so It hit it. I'm on the mag program. I mean, it hit it, but it wasn't great and just never really stuck with it. And uh, I was getting a beep in one direction, so you know, keep digging it. But it's sad that uh, that side of the field is field dirt. It's, it's a shame because there's some old stuff out here. It, it is spread out pretty good. It's not clustered in any one given area, but it does seem like this is the area because uh, I found a button, the rain guide. Uh, I did find a round ball. And then a couple net weights all right in here. So, um, like I said, this was once a cultivated field. And it looks like they just came in, stripped the topsoil, put it right there, dumped all their crap. But uh, that's a shame. Um, this was probably a pretty good little hideaway spot. So, uh, but the soil's not kind to anything out here, I can tell you that. It's, uh, everything's coming out like a, a chocolate brown and a little more corroded than normal. Anyway, but eh. I'll take it. Thanks a lot. All right. Well, this confirms a mid 1800 site for sure. Uh, about six inches down, it hit, came up uh, 60, and it jumped up to 80, and it bounced around. And a trime, hot diggity dog. Look at that. And I probably broke it. I probably hit it with my daggone shovel. I think I did. You got to be kidding me. I think I did. It didn't come up as silver uh, at all. It just kind of hit and bounced around. And uh, I dug two keys over here earlier from like <laughs> an old Ford truck. So I wasn't expecting this. But definitely confirms a mid-1800 site. And I am feeling pretty dumb right now. What a rookie move that was. But I dug a pretty big plug and I pinpointed it. Oh, but look at that. Yes, sir. And I think the date got broke off. Crap. It may still be in here. But, man, hard coin to find. Dang. Just a 
never know. Mm. Yeah, I'm confident that I did that. Oh, man, it's a heartbreaker. Alrighty, but yeah, nevertheless, got to try them. Cool. I don't know what I got. Um, it was right here. I took my little. It's, uh, it's right. It's right here. Oh, an engine. All right. Man, that's in good shape too. Dang. Eighteen eighty-eight looks like. Back's a little toasted, but yeah, front's perfect. Sweet! Yeah, came out about uh, seven inches maybe.